All right, hello everybody. Let me turn this down real quick. Apologies. All right, hopefully that's better. We'll just see. All right. Hello everybody, it's me, Explosive Ramen, and welcome back. Welcome back, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Let me just turn this down a bit further. That should be okay. Also, let me turn myself up just a bit. Okay. I apologize. Okay. Hello everybody, it's me, Explosive Ramen, and welcome to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye to Spare. Now, I played the first Danganronpa game by myself, because uh, I got impatient and I figured, no, nah, fuck it, I'll just play it. And uh, I absolutely fell in love with it. It was amazing, I loved just, I loved the absurdness of it, just the jauntiness of it, the art style, the, just everything, really. I loved it. And uh, I figured, well, I couldn't wait to play the second game, so I decided, yeah, let's just play the second game already. So, uh, here we are playing the second game. Known as Danganronpa 2, Goodbye to Spare. Anyways, yeah, let's just start the game. Why not? Uh, I had, of course I had played the first game, so I do know, I do kind of know how this, how this works. Uh, I don't know why it's on load game. I don't even have any, yeah. I don't even have anything. Yeah. So, let's, uh, so before we get started real quick, um, <clears throat> this is mostly blind. Obviously, I do understand kind of how the game works, but at the same time, uh, I do, I do know, I think, or at least I think, I think I know one person who's gonna fight the dust, shall we say, but yeah, that's about it, really. Other than that, I, I know, I do know a lot of the characters as well, but that's about it. I don't know anything about the story other than you're just on an island. <laughs> so let's, let's go. Audio, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the audio in Japanese just because I would like to practice my Japanese. I understand that some of the people talk in dialects, maybe. Some people talk in slang, but I still would like to practice my Japanese. So that's why I'm gonna choose Japanese. Logic difficulty, I'm gonna choose both of them to be kind, because uh I mean don't want don't want to ruin the experience for myself as obviously. Hey. Right. Yeah, I mean, you were glitching out of existence there, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was out of it. I don't know if I should turn this down or not. Because it's... It does look like it's pretty loud. Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll make it work. I could just use this as like a test recording. I really could. Whatever. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I was not. Sorry. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I just try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... Watched about a fucking island? What else could you possibly... Okay, whatever. We just woke up from being knocked unconscious, I assume, so I'll cut him some slack. 
I... All right, let's see. Ooh, love that music. Loving that music. I think I might actually turn the audio down just a bit. Right there, that seems, that seems fine. Yeah, that seems totally fine. So we'll actually maybe a bit more. Just like the tiniest of adjustments. All right, go ahead. It wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. <clears throat> and when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I'd just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Yeah. Yeah, no, you were. <laughs> you totally were. For those of you that don't understand how, for those of you that don't understand uh, how Danganronpa works, which is mainly going to be <laughs> the, the people who have, which is mainly going to be a lot of people on this, a lot of people that are watching my channel right now, I'm assuming, uh, you'll, you'll figure out how, how it works pretty soon. <laughs> I was truly in a dream. Hope's Peak Academy. <sighs> Here we go again. That place was so much more than a school to me. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, congratulations. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Yeah, see, so when they say every imaginable field, they mean every imaginable field. Like, one of the characters in the first game was like... <laughs> one of the characters in the first game literally was a fanfic writer. He wrote fanfiction and got accepted into university for that. I can't make this up. <laughs> I really can't. Okay, anyways. Whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, they'll be set for life. <sighs> oh my god. When you, when you play this... <laughs> like... When you play this after the first game, there's so much, many things that you just don't didn't catch the first time around, and this is definitely one of those things. I'm not going to explain why, but this is one of those things. Oh, and also the reason why I played the first game without recording it is because the real reason why, other than getting impatient, is because uh, I knew too much about the game. I knew too many events that would happen. I got, I did have a few events spoiled by the internet for me. So yeah. Anyways, for this one, I'm, I'm mostly, bl I'm pretty much, almost completely blind, other than mechanics. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As I say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. Sure. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't many there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope Speak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates. Yeah, so, uh, in the last game, the guy you played as, 
he was the most average dude you could possibly think of, except for his height, because he was practically, even by my standards, he was a midget, and I'm 5'8". So that should give you a good idea <laughs> of how short this dude is. The dude was like 5'3". Yeah. I think only like two people were shorter than him, and one was the same height. It's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> but yeah, he was he was the average guy, but he got scouted off of pure luck. Yeah. He was randomly chosen out of a lottery, and that's how he attended. Anyways, I, I keep on rambling, I'm sorry. That's just, that's just how I am. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is... My circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. No, please explain. You'll find out soon enough, and it's something special worth talking about, I think. See, every time, any time you think that, chances are, it's definitely worth mentioning. Immediately. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. <laughs> Thank you for talking so that I don't introduce myself. まあ、これもお決まりだから。そう、そう思うことにしてやっておこう。俺の名前は日向はじめだ。はじめ日向。オッケー。俺が希望が見え学園にやってきた理由はたった一つ。希望が見え学園に憧れていたからだ。By the way, I got to speak kind of quietly cuz it is currently, what time is it? 12, it's basically midnight, and uh, yeah, everyone in my house is asleep. So I gotta speak a little quietly. Anyways, so if you're wondering why I sound quiet, so if you're wondering why I'm being quiet, then there you go. So if you're wondering why I'm being quiet, then there you go. It's always been a dream of yours, okay. What the? Okay, that's a nice touch. That's nice. Those of you wondering, that is not YouTube glitching out, that is the game. That is the game itself. Recently, and I always... Always, 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 oh god, it's, <laughs> it's Max Headroom. <laughs> How painfully ordinary I really am. That's why hope, oh god, dude. This finally came true. What? I've always admired talent individuality, but I have finally... Are we in the Matrix? Still, I need to hurry because I need to go inside. This classroom need? What need? No. I should hurry. And here is the class. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh yeah, sorry if also sorry if I clear my throat often. For any new watchers, people who might be Don and Rapa fans. I'm sorry that I'm clearing my throat or if I snort a lot. That's just That's just how I am. So you know yeah, you know that one kid in class that never stopped coughing? Yeah, that was me. That was me. I was that kid. Uh, 
んたもこの学校の新入生なんじゃないのあじゃあもしかしてみんなも<笑>まあそういうことだ俺らもこの学園の新入生ってな多分この教室には私たちみたいな新入生が集められてるんだね。Soon, freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. <sighs> well, I was gonna say it's like the good old days, but not really, because. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. <clears throat> right, this guy. I'll explain later why he. He's a, a violin. What the hell? <laughs> I just saw that. Sorry, I got distracted. I'll explain why this guy is interesting later. Why am I being so polite? I don't know if they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and will try my very best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an empty seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. Yeah, drawn to it, and not anything else that's around you. How did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. That is an, under that is an understatement if I've ever seen one. Um, excuse me. What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? <laughs> Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> what? This is everyone? How do you know? <laughs> I read with the same exact voice. Yeah, get over it. There are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. And just what are we going to talk about? Oh, uh, I know this guy. I don't like him. The reason we're all, we're all gathered here in this classroom... First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Not a damn one, let me guess. <clears throat> so before you realized that you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same then everyone here is in the same predicament. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. <laughs> the fucking God damn it, the arm placement. <laughs> the posture, the pose. I'll explain later, I promise. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? It, it sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. Here we go. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but that dizziness wasn't just me. Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. Even yeah, if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? What? Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Huh. I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should all try to figure out why we can't leave. 
Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? S seriously? I just came through there. You know what? Don't ever question this game. I know I know not to do that. I still did it. Why did I do that? I tried to leave to go take a shit. Okay. That door wouldn't budge at all. Well, better hold it in, buddy. Hey, hey, what's going on? With all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible! Oh. <laughs> I just remembered who this girl- I just remembered this girl. I remember her being an absolute, complete and utter sociopath. <laughs> She's right, it's impossible because when I went through the door it opened normally, it wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. There's no denying that we've been locked inside this classroom. My fucking, my fucking lisp. My lisp and my speech impediment. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. If we're getting mixed up in something dangerous, buddy, you have no idea. Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance? This is the entrance exam. You fucking wish, buddy. You fucking wish. The entrance exam. You mean Hope Peak Academies? <clears throat> but according to Hope Peak Academy, no such entrance 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 exam exists. <laughs> They may say that publicly, but it's possible this is actually a special entrance exam. You're wrong. This is not an entrance, entrance exam. What was that just now? Hey, fat ass, why are you doing that cutesy voice all of a sudden? I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight. You'd be wise not to, you'd be wise to do that. But that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose was it? I know. It's actually mine. <laughs> who's there? Where are you? I'm not gonna risk screaming at a time like this. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk. <laughs> All right, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. <sighs> Sorry. I, I, I was just throwing out the laugh. It's just, it's just playing the first game and then all of a sudden just being subject to this. You'd think I'd be used to it, and then that comes out, and it's just like, what? <laughs> I recognize it. Believe it or not, I do. But it's like the hell. What is that? Uh, it looks like a stuffed animal. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that. Oh, okay, she's fine with it. He, it, I don't know, could be a cross just for all we know. That's right, I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami, aka Usami, okay, cool. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? Nah, I see it too. What's with this talking chihuahua? Mate. Nah, chihuahuas are way... Way more demonish than that. Eh? Uh, that's a chihuahua? No. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal, it's very fluffy and soft. 
That's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Uh, hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I've never seen the- sorry, I got just- sorry, my mind blanked for a second. I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably a remote control or something. Don't look such a pussy over a child's toy. Even if it's not remote control, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. It's movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said, it seems you know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip. Hey, what do you mean school trip? A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're, we're not looking for such a little answer. Now let's depart for this fun school trip! Depart? So we were in the tropics all along. Oh, okay, I like this music. Yeah. That really is one of Dungarapa's strong points, in my opinion, is, it, it, is its music. It absolutely kills it with, with sound and music every time. Huh? Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, my brain, too. The world just stopped making sense. Mate, that's... I, that, I haven't even had this happen to me, and the world to me stopped making sense years ago. It happens when you live in America. That was depressing, wasn't it? Uh, the classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves... What the hell is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was... abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Um... What?! This is a joke, right? Where are we?! What's going on? Everyone, please stay calm. There's no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes in this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? Yeah, and so is our brains. It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Yeah, definitely our brains as well. Hold on, give us the details. Where in the world are we? Where, you asked? Well, obviously we're... Out where it's better, out where it's wetter. Oh, shut the fuck up. God damn it. <laughs> out by the sea. That's not how the song goes. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, you're just gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. But we were just at school and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. Please do not worry, the school trip has just started. That's all. But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first! She, she's right, we're supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. Ah, Hope Speak Academy, I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy. Then, in that case... Please forget about Hope Speak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? What the hell do you mean we should forget about it? Boy. Hey, what are you? Just, what are you scheming? What, what, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying for the bottom of my heart that hope will grow in everyone's heart. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, so please, there's no need to worry at all. Island? Did you just say island? 
Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people in danger. Are you sailing? Are you saying this sailing? What the fuck? Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to maybe to make us kill each other? Yeah, I'll I'll explain. I'll explain everything later. <clears throat> How will we kill each other? Nuh uh, no way! Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. So scary! Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. While you all relax in this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. Heart-throbbing school trip. Oh. Man, I think if his heart throbs any more than it already is, he'll die. Spend these peaceful- sorry, <laughs> that, was, that was a tasteless joke, I apologize. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then, let the heart-throbbing school trip begin. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. Uh, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering. <clears throat> My mind ground to a halt. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up a bit. I apologize, sorry. I'm just listening to this music, to be honest with you, and watching this. Shooting for the stars. Would you like to save your current progress? Yes, please. I am a save whore, as it will soon become apparent if it wasn't already. Hey, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, we're right here again. You okay? So I got put in this weird... You're listening. This time I was, yeah. So now we're awake. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, the sun's rays beaming down on me, the soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope Speak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit said... That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. God damn it, I'm gonna adjust the... The desktop audio again. Let's try... No, 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 no. Right there, maybe? We'll try that. We'll try that. 
That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Donkin Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the left mouse button. You can examine that person or object, also you can shift. Yeah, I already know this. Plus, if you press the tab key, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine, yeah. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search this beach thoroughly and progress the story, yeah. So, that's what happens if you press tab. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. It certainly does. That's a mighty fine palm tree. But now's the time to be impressed by it. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? So, and as you can see, the pink, the little pink circles are, are for people. So the ocean. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Surveillance camera. Yep, the mono cams. Hmm? Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. <clears throat> So how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. The ultimate lucky student. Yep, so... If you caught what I said beforehand... A long man introduction. So if you caught what I said beforehand, the... Name of the protagonist that you control in the first game, the first Danganronpa, it, his name is Makoto Negi. And if you look really closely, you can see that I think there's an extra letter in there. But his, if you, I can't remember what it was. Makoto Negi. I think there's like an extra A in there. But uh, if you take the extra A out, his name is actually an anagram. Nagito's name is an anagram of Makoto Negi. Yeah. Also, he dresses very similarly with the jacket. He is he looks very similar and he has the same you know, he has the same title. So yeah. I did notice these things. That's really all I know about him, though. I don't know what role he plays, so... I just know that he looks really similar to Makoto. To be fair, he could have nothing to do with him. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent, so you know why Hoshi Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, Mike, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? It's not a joke or anything, that's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery. Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not trolled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. <laughs> I never even thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. <clears throat> To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Host Peak Academy is amazing that they can actually research something as vague as luck. See, here's the thing. In the beginning of the first Danganronpa game, 
Makoto says some says exactly the same thing. He says they can really research like they can really research something like luck. That's amazing. Well, anyway, thanks for that luck. A guy like me was able to attend Hostic Academy, so for that I'm grateful. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, man. You still look like a freak or a weirdo, just slightly less so than than the others. Ah, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Huh. Nagito Komeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. And then it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh, without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. Hajime, what, what happened? Ah, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm just, I'm having trouble remembering some things. Ooh, he is not convinced. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting in a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember soon once you settle down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Obtained Hope Fragment! Hey, did something just beep? W what a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand in my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What, what the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. What, why is something like this inside my pocket? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh right, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. N now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? It's an e-handbook. Yeah, so... Get used to this, because... You have to get used to her popping up randomly, because... It's gonna happen a lot. What the... Where'd you come from? Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. Hehe, <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. That's creepy. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? The handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. Th this device is that important? I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all, all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. <sighs> God damn all this talking. <clears throat> Sorry. When I talk a lot, I salivate for some reason. So I'm just trying to just spit everywhere. <clears throat> there it is. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Hey. She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears when, wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? I also read, tend to read pretty fast. That's just something I do. Sorry about that. What's your deal? It's like we're in a game or something. No comment. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. Not for me. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but more importantly, more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where did everyone go? Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's the island's name? Is there any way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore? 
Excuse me. Sorry. It's late. Explore the island at the same time. I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess it's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I... I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Yes. Shall we get going, then? But is this really okay? It feels so relaxed. It's a strange situation. Perhaps it's a tropical climate? Or is it that... What's her name? Usami's fault? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. Anyway, this is a nightmare. I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? A really bad one. I can tell you from experience. You are not able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information about the game. You can open with the F1 key. Yeah, it's super easy. It actually is surprisingly easy to remember. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card which documents everyone, everybody's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also serve and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. Wait, there's more! You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. Oh, right, you can exit the beach with the R key. Check and make sure there's nothing else to... ...to examine. Yeah, we're good. So, R? Leave here? Yes. Ah, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? <sighs> eh? You don't know? Oh my god, I'm controlling a dumbass as well. This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also... Hmm. I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. Anyway, I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay, you're you're right. So, I need to introduce everyone on the side. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> so, I forgot to tell you, oh, great. If you look at the map and your e handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. Oh, thank God. That was. That got out of hand so quickly in the first Dong and Rapa game, because I had no idea where anyone is, where anyone was. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Yes! Oh my god. Thank god they fixed that, because... Yeah, that got annoying in the first song and round of the game. You can also... Okay. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. God damn it, I'm yawning so much like a fucking idiot. Travel on this, travel on the island can be done through the screen. You can move with the WASD keys. You can run by holding a shift key while you move. If you press the Q and E keys, you can also instantly move to the next area. When the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You've also realized that, but you have you have to have your own pet inside your E handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Oh my god. This is completely different to what I... What the hell? Alright. That is not... Alright, so... Okay, so that's Central Island. Jabberwock Park. Don't like... I don't like the sound of that. Bridge front. It's the first on the central island, and that's all we have. Okay. Presents. Oh yeah, this is stuff you uh, get out of a machine. How many are there? I wonder. Let's 
just going with my entire finger at this point. How many are there? 140. Jesus, that's way more than the last one. Report card. Yeah, so I already have one with him. Just likes noisy places. Height five foot nine. Jesus, he's taller than me. I'm five foot eight. So I don't know anything about this. How tall am I? Five foot eight. Huh. Okay. He's skinny as hell though. Jesus. Kusamochi Sakuramochi. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what kind of mochi kusamochi is. I know what sakura mochi is, but uh, not the hell regulations. So these are the rules of the. So we'll go over them. Extreme violence is prohibited on the island. On this island, please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Uh. Go. Okay, there we go. Rule 2. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Rule 3. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Alright. And the pet. Come on, let's raise it. Clean space. Until the next grow 79, so I gotta take 79 steps. Or no, I gotta take 100 steps before I can. And the system is when you, where you save and everything. So save here. See, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's great. That is amazing. The ranch. Oh, you're just going through here. You saw me corral. Corral. This is like a ranch. Yeah, no shit. But there aren't many animals around. Oh, you found it out. You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. Yeah, whatever. And any magic stick. She's talking about that toy she's holding. Still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. I was... God, he beat me to it. Damn. Me and him would be great friends, probably. I feel. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Oh, what the hell is she gonna do? Bibbidi boppity bibbidi boppity. Bibbidi bibbidi bibbidi. Turn into a moo cow. I swear to god. Okay. Bah! A huge success. What was all that just now? A chicken changed into. A cow! Now it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She's probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. <laughs> a trick? An illusion? Well, if you think about it rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Hey man, you never know what happens when you turn your head. You never know. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? <laughs> oh god, are you a vegan? I guess I might as well get over with Squish Squish. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Is she killing ants? Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Hmm? I'm Hyoko Sayonji. Ultimate traditional dancer. You look fucking weird as shit for a traditional dancer. Jesus Christ, you're blonde. So 
sorry. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. <laughs> Yoko's talent, later known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Yeah, I was about to say. <sighs> probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Yeah, whatever whatever the opposite of Nambla is. Squish, squish. Hey, what exactly are you doing? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you squish your tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Wanna do it together? Hell no. Oh, okay. You wuss. This kid. <laughs> this kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. I obtained a hope fragment off of that? Really? The billboard. I'm gonna be examining everything. I guess it's the ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't be thinking too hard about it anyways. Surveillance camera. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. See, I'm checking everything because in the previous game, in the first game, if you checked a bunch of things, Occasionally, you would earn uh, these things called uh, mono coins, and you could use it to, and that was you could put it in a prize, like a gotcha thing, like you know those little dispensers, those little candy, those little candy dispensers, like prize dispensers that are in like a grocery store. Yeah, it had one of those, and that's where you got the prizes from, or the presents. So, anyways, did I check this already? No, I didn't. Just I thought a blank screen doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? It's basically he's saying the same thing over and over again. It's a toucan here for some reason. A tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> call it a toucan. Dickhead. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. Based on appearances, it looks like a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? One that I'm sure Penn and Teller could debunk within seconds. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha, and who's this other dude? Huh? Have we already met? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names, and I met so many interesting characters today. You would know who he is, though. No, she didn't forget your name, she forgot who you were completely. Alright, if you can't please forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Oari. Nice to meet you. The ultimate gymnast. So... All around super athlete. Strikingly resembles uh, Aoi Asahina, who commonly went by the nickname Hina from the first game, who was the ultimate swimmer. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but, ath but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly. But if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performance must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high, as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. Huh? Don't tell me you. Oh, I get it. So you have to think for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Yeah, dickhead. Fuck you. Save. I'm gonna be doing this a lot, so... 
buckle up. Also, I'm, I'm not gonna end it until I've introduced myself to everyone. I pretty much suck at remembering names. You already assume that you'll forget, huh? Wait, what'd she say? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'll hit you up for your name again, so when it, when it happens, I'm counting on you. Do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. She seems like a dangerous kid. I hope. I hope we don't have to deal with her. Ever again. <clears throat> Wait, did my pet grow yet? No, not yet. Okay. Whoops. Ah, these are the living quarters. <clears throat> wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Hotel Mirai, huh? Huh, it looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. Of course it is. We were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pinch a tent or something. If we can live at a grand hotel like this, I don't think we have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. <laughs> we don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? So now... A map, be a map will be displayed if you press the tab key. I said the tab key, don't make me repeat myself. Right, so now we actually get to move around like a 3D game. Why is this guy so calm? What kind of trauma has he experienced? makeshift hotel guest room. What? What's up? Wait, hold up. What happened? Oh yeah, it, uh... My pet grew up. Until the next growth, 900. So, 1,001 steps is how many I need to take before it grows. Okay. Uh, just gonna check everything real quick. You can never be sure. Why are some of them colored and some of them not? Oh wait, no, that's just... She's just really pale. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm so confused. Alright, I guess there's nothing over here. Oh, hello. Hmm? That's right, you haven't told me your name. My name. I'm the ultimate team manager. Nikomaru Nidai. Team manager? That was the last thing I expected. I actually forgot about this dude. Don't even remember him. Uh, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hold right there, your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. I'm Hajime Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. Please to make your acquaintance. I am Nikomaru Nidai. Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. You're also team manager. You don't need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Team manager. 
but he's not on a team, he just manages one. He's not just a team manager, after all, he's an ultimate. He traveled to numerous towns and, ex and displayed an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to the national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> With a build like his, he'd be better off playing on, a, playing on a team instead of managing it. I don't know about that, buddy. He's so loud if I keep on talking, I'll eventually go deaf. <laughs> Oh, right, this kid, this little shit. Who the hell are you? Don't talk about friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard. Relax, Fuyuko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. What? Introduce yourselves? See? You haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Sorry. <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuri. Cool. Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuri. Just so we're clear, I don't plan on acting friendly and shit with you guys. The ultimate Yakuza. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. <laughs> Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuyu clan. Eh? Don't tell me he's... I'm sure you at least heard of them before, right? The largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza clan, and THE Kuzuyu clan, no less? By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You run out of fingers before he's done with you. I was close, I nearly lost my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're, you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Oi, hey, bastards, if you're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? How, how does a tree fuck off? Fucking idiot. Fuck you. Fuck your whole clan, bitch. Talk to you again just to piss you off. Yeah, no. No, we're gonna keep talking. We're gonna keep doing this shit. Yeah. What can I do about it, bitch? You are nowhere. You got nobody here to help you. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we got... Oh, right, I can't check anything. <laughs> Fuck. Aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face into your arms? Uh, y yeah. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? A time like this is the boy's job to keep the girl safe. Okay, shut the fuck up, lady. Y you're right. Don't agree to that. Do you want to give me intro Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiro Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Ultimate photographer. Hey. I can respect that. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. Oh, just, sorry, just turn the volume down a little bit. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for a seal at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging for her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. She got seemed decent enough. Hmm? Decent? Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just, or like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island, what do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we can leave this island together. That's all we have to do when we can go home? 
Is that true? Did she really mean that? Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Yeah. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as you live here peacefully, you'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. E even so... What's the reason? Why do you have to do something like this? I mean, go, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, that's all there is to it. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal? Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Host Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Huh? Don't air me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know? Ah, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you too. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. Fuck you. Fuck yourself. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. <laughs> I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? You fucking... Uh, God. Disgrace to photographers everywhere. That's... That's a bit harsh. Uh, no, 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 no! This old building is in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know? Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. True... Level up. Oh, did it level up already? No, wait, no, the, the pet didn't level up. Did it? No. It's like, how is that possible? Can I go in here? I can. There's gotta be somebody in here. Multiple people. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this is really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now, but why are we the only ones in this hotel? <laughs> It's an uninhabited island, it can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? Yeah, we have. Okay. Hey. Alright, um. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Reception desk. I guess this is the receptionist's desk, but there's nobody here. Arcade machine. This place even has an arcade machine. Isn't it great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're at an inn in the Hot Springs District or something. Okay, so I can't check anything else other than that. State your business. Wow, already demanding, alright. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is... Peko Peko Yama. Is that an actual... name? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot about this girl. I was wondering, like, is that an actual name somebody can go by? I guess it is. That is... <laughs> For, with a name like that, I almost can't take you seriously, but fair play. Ultimate Swordswoman. Nice to meet you as well, by the way. This dignified looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. Thank you. Dude, me and him are like, connected. On a mental level. Honestly. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. But there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together in respect to each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I'd prefer not to kill anyone. Kill. Isn't that sword in your back made of bamboo? Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misaimed blow could be fatal. Yeah. 
Well, an aimed bullet can be fatal too. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, good idea. Hello, who are you? Oh, she's playing an arcade game. I thought she was just staring at us in the face. If I remember correctly, she's the ultimate gamer, right? She looks absorbed by it. You haven't probably introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right, because I... I was lucky enough to not really be spoiled story-wise for this game, unlike Danganronpa. I got really lucky. All I all I found out about were like the the characters, and that was it. She's really focused on her game, but I guess to try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Why? Seems like she has almost. Almost seems like she has autism. Just saying something. Oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little. Are you sure about that? Let's see. Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. Okay. I'm Chiaki. I'm not video games. My hobby. I'm a fan of all genres. A. Hey, nice. Nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is this girl okay? She doesn't have a brain injury, does she? Right? I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, there's something wrong with this girl. <laughs> She's cute, don't get me wrong, but... She seems like a wonderful... Like a wonderful girl, it's just there's something off about her. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how could she play video games at a time like this? <sighs> Yawn. Are you sleepy? I am too. I honestly kind of want to break it off here, but. This is a hotel restaurant. <laughs> It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It has, it's kind of has this tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are you really stuck here? What else could it be? Oh well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. Well, I'll try to stay awake for it. Look, there are two people talking over there. That's right. I'm having a hard time because of, it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison, I see. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I heard this dude's a creep. Whoa, denied. Denied? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime and I'm nice to meet you too. Why, hello there, you must be the new guy. On the streets. On the streets. The ultimate chef instead. It's more of a big city flavor to it, you know? <laughs> it says ultimate cook, buddy. I hope we get along well. Oh, that reminds me, I've not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. Never mind. What kind of what kind of a name is that? Forget Peko Peko Yama. What is Nevermind? Ultimate Princess. Right. So she is royalty. I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. Not existent, by the way, in case you were absolutely shit with geography. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. S same here, I hope we get along too. 
white porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. And completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully I feel happy. What are you happy about? In my home country, I do not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with experience with everyone is a new experience for me. <laughs> with experience, I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Thanks. But the I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. <laughs> hey, you three, am I being left on the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> it's so likely to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I don't, and since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully, mm. yeah, I like it. Ma, Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you refined, cultured, guilty as charged? No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get a, if I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking. S I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna give you the satisfaction. Of knowing that I read that out. What do you think? What? He's probably wearing a a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? Well then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. We're putting that aside for now. This also might seem unexpected to you, but I feel like oh my god, dude, what is wrong with this guy? I feel like Sonya over there has a good chance of putting out- I knew this dude was a creep! I just didn't realize how bad it was! Everyone knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Pardon me, what are you talking about? We'll discuss this later. I better not see you try that again! Get that- Please, yeah, t tell him. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous for a completely different reason, yeah. Let's hope there's no, like, hope there's no chloroform anywhere on the island. That would be really bad. Wait, can I just... Oh my god, I totally could have just walked up there. That's amazing. Okay. Can I jump in the water? No, I can't. Okay, I don't know why I'm leveling up, but alright, I'll take it. I might end this because I'm getting really tired. It is 1.18 a.m. I'll go to this marketplace and then I think I might end the video because it's getting really long. It's an hour and a half now. Yeah. Jesus, dude, those big ass bottles of cola. 20 liters of cola? Is that what that says? This is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? Thanks to this place, we won't worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? <laughs> it's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything in here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? You certainly are the skeptical type. The paranoid type, I would consider. Even the supermarket is strange. Of course I am. Look around, we're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. 
Well, that can't be helped. The Sami say this island is uninhabited. Why would this be here? That's exactly my point. Ah. Uh, uh, what happened? It's nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, um, you know. I'm sorry. Oh God. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. If so, your name is. Where's the okay with you, man? Please remember your name. God, that is so cute and so fucking depressing at the same goddamn time. <laughs> of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but. Alright, that's the cutest fucking thing I've seen all week. No joke. Uh, you know... Uh, uh, um... My mind is drawing a blank for nervousness all. I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 topics to discuss after introductions? That seems excessive. <laughs> It's okay if you take your time and remember slowly, we'll t wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever, that's what it takes. Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll ask since you... Well, I guess I'll ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so what's her deal? She's the ultimate nurse. Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, it's a good possibility it'll get an infection and die. Don't see something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> you actually, oh my god. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Jesus. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, I'm just so, so, so sorry. Oh, no, it was, I thought it was like a stain for a second. I was like, the fuck? What is this thing? Vending machine. It doesn't seem to accept money, right? Do you use some type of coin? Surfboards. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Cola. It's one big cola bottle. I better go flat before you even finish drinking it. Not if you put it in a fridge. Night vision goggles. So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. I can't believe the supermarket even still stuff like this. There's a good reason for it. I mean, I'll talk to this. I'll talk to this one last girl, and then I'll be done for tonight. Peeking, peeking. Oh hi, who are you? Uh, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Your tension is super low! Are you feeling alright? Oh, that's right, introduction to our go go. What the fuck? Okay. Ibuki Mioda, put it together and what you get? Ibuki Mioda, yeah, no shit. So I think, I th think, just pure speculation, but I think Buki Miyota's name is I Miyota. I think that's her name. I think. Okay, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Oh, melons. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians. And even people from U Body would shop here. What the hell is going on with your nose? 
And I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stove rolls. It's deliciousness. When I'm excited, I get hungry monkery. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry? Why do I get hungry when I get excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. This energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an old girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Their hit single sold over a million copies? That sounds familiar. Why does that sound familiar to you? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Are you interested? What? You could hear me? Duh. Ibuki's a musician after all. Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Perez, and Senna. I can't remember who Perez and Senna are. I think Perez is an artist. <laughs> Edison? Schubert, like Schubert and Bach, that makes sense. Just like everything else after that, it's just like, the fuck? I can't find anything for Perez. I'm gonna look up Senna. Oh wait, isn't Senna like a Formula One driver actually? Okay. <laughs> oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Hey, most of the people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. Don't sweat the details. <laughs> I. It's cappuccino, dar, jeeling, jeeling tea, K tea, green tea, yerba tea, ooh, udon. French, British, Turkish, Japanese, Argentines, even people from the Kagawa Prefecture would shop here. What was that last one of food? What do you mean? Udon doesn't drink. That's definitely not true. <laughs> Oh, please don't hate me. I don't hate you, so please calm down. Alright, you know what? I think that'll end it for this episode. It's an... Jesus Christ, an hour and 34 minutes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna end this here. So, uh... There you have it for my first episode of my Danganronpa 2 playthrough. So, uh... Yeah. If you liked it and you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, though. I don't want to force you into anything, of course. Also, I do have a Discord. Uh, the invite to that Discord is down in the description, of course. So if you want to be a part of the community, get updates on uh, why uploads might not be coming along, then uh, feel free to join it. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day just to watch my videos. Which I don't know why you'd be doing that. You could do anything better with your time, but I'll take it anyways. <laughs> yeah, um, that's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.